So welcome back to the channel today and we are doing a Sims 4 speed build today So this is actually just like kind of a small little build that I wanted to do It actually has two houses, which is kind of cool I got this inspiration from Twitter from this artist named Sonia You probably do know her because she's very cool and very awesome at what she does Like you should check her out So I will link down her Twitter down below so you guys can check her little creations out there too And um Honestly, I got some inspiration from that and I thought, okay, okay, this looks pretty cool. And it's kind of our new recent drawing. It's called Witch's Study House. No, Witch's House Study. And I thought, okay, I want to, and I said, I want to build on The Sims. And I'm like, and she's like, okay, sure, let's do it. And I thought, you know what, might as well do it anyway. Try and see what I was doing with it. And overall, when it, at the end of like a, close to the hour and a half mark, I was really, really loving it. And I actually did like it too. So since I was limited on space, I wanted to make these houses like kind of micro homes, but not really micro homes. If you get my, well, is it a micro? It, it kind of is like a micro home. It, I really didn't count the sp spaces. I believe it's, ooh, seven by seven, I think. I'm not really sure. It has to be either 7x7 seven seven or 6x6 six six of this house. Well, both houses kind of sort of, but really can't know. Really, really don't know. So I think it's like these are micro homes. which are kind of cool. So they're called, I think on the gallery is called Sonia's House Study. Because I that's what the title of this video is called anyway. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to just name the app her anyway. So uh, yeah. So when I was looking at that picture on Twitter, I saw that there were like a lot of like different type of flowers everywhere. Like I just love plants anyway. So let's just gonna have plants everywhere like I always do. <laughs> so I went ahead and actually add some vines from Get Together alongside of the house on both sides and on the back, I believe, and on the front to reach up to the chimney. So when I looked at the picture, the chimney had flowers coming out of it. So I thought that house was really, 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 really old. So I thought, okay, I'm going to add plants everywhere, make it look as old as possible, add plants coming out of the chimney, which is kind of crazy. But still, you know, it, it's the imagination. You can do whatever you want in The Sims and pretty much whatever you want to do when you draw. So let your imagination flow everywhere. So I did actually use these dine out, uh, dine out, what's it called? Dine out fences. Cause it looked really more a part of the house cause it's, it's brown and I thought brown, it seems old. So I just went with it and I really did like the way it was looking. So this, both of them actually has one bedroom and one bathroom and the kitchen itself is very, very small. So I did test this out and your sense can actually get through everything in this house along with the kitchen being so small and compressed. And like in one of the second home on this lot, there's actually, I believe that the dining room is separated from the, from the kitchen just because the stairs are like pretty much right in front of the kitchen. So yeah, that was a bit of a problem. Wait, one, two, three. It's a six by six house. Yeah, a six by six micro home house. So I thought I was like, okay, I'm going to do more micro builds. Never did them. I never really re recorded them. Never really just built them because I was like, ah, I forgot. And I ran out of time. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it now. I'm going to build a micro home now and see what it looks like. And it looked great. So I, I, I just don't know what else to talk about in this build because it's very, very small. And it's just different and i miss making macro homes i miss using movie hangout stuff i just want to call it bohemian like i don't know why they didn't call it bohemian stuff even though everything else, er, like literally everything in that pack was literally bohemian bohem everywhere bohemian except the tv and the popcorn i think but other than that everything was else like bohemian I'm like okay movie hangout stuff bohemian stuff hmm which one should we go with? It's like, we're, we're going to go with the movie hangout stuff instead of Bohemian because that doesn't sound right. Okay. But still, <laughs> I honestly did still love it. I, no matter what it is, I still love it because the content is amazing because we always get like new building content, which I kind of love. I've honestly loved building more than uh, doing Let's Plays, but still I do Let's Plays because I love it and it's a lot of fun making families and kind of like growing them, like seeing them grow up from like, babies to like 
elders and like when they die it gets really emotional and gets really really sad and you just don't want them to die and it just gets really ugly and you all of a sudden have that ugly fake cry and you start rolling on the floor being the ugliest ever so yeah <laughs> but still i honestly still love it but anyway i'm pre-recording videos at this point because i am actually in san francisco at this point in time of this video that is going up on a wednesday which today is a wednesday so i'm in san francisco for the new expansion pack for sims 4 since for city living so i'll i'm in there i am talking to people are at this point but still i still love it it's a lot of fun i will i'm vlogging at this point so yeah i'll be vlogging uh yeah by the time you're watching this video i'll i'm gonna be i'm gonna vlog anything and everything so i get there very early so i'm kind of happy about that i'm gonna meet a lot of people like kayla little simsy uh chloe coffee coffee yt um vixella 8 bit Dylan, a lot of other like very, very, very cool people that I've never met before that I wanted I wanted to meet for the, like the longest time ever. So I'm like, okay, life is good. Life is good. I like it a lot. I like but no. So here's the part where I started to do the second house. I at first I was thinking, I don't know what I was gonna do with this house at first. And then I started to think of up. Like you know that how up the movie it has like this weird shape of a roof. And I thought, you know what, I might portray that in there, but making my own style so I, I just kept it that way so I remember I think I said in my last build I can't remember but I remember saying that this this build specifically is actually kind of like a mixture of like tiny town slash some other build I guess and I tried to make it combine it into one where like it has houses but like it has like a little bit of the back like the, that little corner over there, I'm pointing, we can't really see it, but that little back corner where that tree is, it um, has like a little bit of a community area, it has like your your um, grill, your planting boxes, and, and sorts of other fun things as well, but not, not a lot of fun things, but just mainly the grill, and then the planter boxes, and the bird feeder, that's much what's back there. And like in the front, it's just a seating area, I didn't want to add too, too much on this little pot of land. It's a residential lot, so your sims can actually live in here. So you can have, like, at least two sims live on this lot. Or more if you guys wanted to. You can always add a basement because I think there's enough room in this lot or in the houses that you can actually add a basement physically on, like, the lot itself. So I think you can actually do that. So it'll be pretty great for you. But if you can't, then you can always add a, a third floor, but that would be demolishing my roofs. But, like... Why would you do that still? But whatever. But you can actually go ahead and download the vid download this house on the gallery. So it's up on the gallery called Sonia's House Studies with the hashtag Spring Sims and Spring Legacy as well. But you can also search my origin ID, which is Spring Sims, on the gallery. So if you don't follow me on the gallery, you should. So you'll know when I upload a new creation on the gallery, gallery like a house, a sim, multiple sims, rooms, anything that has to do with Sims 4 and I upload to it you will know if you follow me on the gallery. So you should, because it's fun. The gallery is fun. I literally get all my, I get my, I get like 15% of my inspiration from the gallery. And then the rest of the, my inspiration is literally from Pinterest. Like I, I live on Pinterest, like not going to lie. I live on there. I, I not, I know I live on Pinterest. I have I'm been on Pinterest like 24, seven hours, like pretty much every day, 24, seven. 365 days a year I'm on there all the time and I look at just random pictures on Pinterest like it has to either do with like like sims wise or like house building stuff like I try to like when I look for a new house build I want to do like a new house build idea I look on Pinterest and I kind of type in like modern house or like type of like r I recently I started looking up like ruins or like ancient ruins or like um, abandoned lots or like abandoned, um, ruined places or whatever, like something that looks very, very overgrown and stuff like that. I recently started typing in those type of like search words into Pinterest and I got so many like ideas for like builds. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I actually posted, uh, my schedule for October and it shows that all the stuff that I'll be uploading for the month of October. So you'll be seeing that if you don't, if you don't look at that list, you won't know what I'll be uploading. So follow me on Twitter and you'll know. So that'd be really great. Cause when I, when I like, if you know that schedule, I always tweet out saying that, Oh, I'll be uploading this on this specific day and then uploading on, on that time. So you'll know what time I'll be uploading 
and you'll know what day and what video. Because somehow I end up probably changing a video on that day, but I will try my best to stick to that schedule. And so far I have. For the most, and today is, uh, the 11th. Yes. Yes, the 11th. Yeah. It, today is the 11th. The, it's, it's the 11th, and so far I've recorded about 11-ish, no, not 11 videos, I've recorded 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 videos so far, but more than that, because I've been pre-recording for about three weeks, I've been playing about a lot of videos, and I just have a lot of things in my in mind for a lot of other things, so there might be a double video, if not, then just a, just single videos because I probably ran out of time to actually record any other videos. I really wanted to do like another cast, but what my schedule looks like, I have a cast like every single week. Like I I uploaded a cast video yesterday, so it was like a it, yeah I uploaded a cast video yesterday. So if you want to check that out, it's up there. It's out there, so <laughs> yeah, and everything is pretty much uploaded for like literally two a.m. two no not two a.m. two p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's what my time zone is, Central Standard Time, and it's uploaded at two p.m., which is which is noon um, California time and three p.m. on the other side, like where Florida and Virginia. That's where that time is, and then like like one p.m. on the Next to Central Standard Time, that time, like in North Dakota or whatever, and that those places. But still, I I just had the funnest time pre-recording, and it was a lot of fun. Even though it was hard work, and I love and I love hard work, and I love pushing to the limits when it comes to doing videos and coming up with new ideas. It just becomes a lot more funner, and funner is probably not a word I'm gonna use because I can and I want to. So here's the part where I started actually doing the second house build, which I had some ideas of doing, so I actually kind of mixed some objects together to make it look a little bit more compressed and more together. So I tried to make the bedroom and then the living room all into one. I tried to separate it a little bit to that one little single little half wall. It worked great and I still loved it. So I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to add too, too much into this house because it's already cluttered enough and it's already compact with stuff enough. I just didn't want to just make it more compressed and more crowded and it's more crazy as it is already so I say so a lot and I really hate it but I really don't because I just never really I don't know what I'm saying so even though I'm talking even though I know but still I don't know <laughs> but anyway here we are actually in the backyard where we're just going to fix up the fun things of the backyard well I would call it a community backyard because it's like you know those townhouses like everywhere else in the world like they have like they're even though like they're not connected it's like one house on this side and one house on this side but the two houses have like like their own little community um garden or like their community backyard or whatever and i thought why not make that in this build but like a community backyard where you have like a year or two planter boxes for like one for each household and like you have your um like your chairs your patio chair and also added a grill for your sims to actually start grilling if they wanted to and i didn't want to add a fence to this because it was going to use like the the foundation i just didn't want it because it had looked ugly and i just didn't want that and i didn't want to even use backyard stuff fence anyway so i thought why not since like kind of like a flowery overgrown type of place i wanted to use um these these uh these hedges from Romantic Garden. And I thought, why not use them for once? And I actually did like it. So hopefully I can be using those a lot more in the future. But who knows? But I do have one more speed build to go. Because I actually, well not a speed build. I have a room build actually. It's been a long time since I've done a room build. So yeah, I have a room build sometime this week. for you guys. Actually no, on Friday. I'll have a room build on Friday for you guys to watch. And uh, you'll be seeing that very soon. Like in two days. And hopefully you guys will love it. And hope you guys love this build. If it's not your style, I'm sorry. I don't do the, I don't even do the ordinary speed build. So I don't talk about the build most of the time. I don't build normal houses all the time. So yeah, that's pretty much what I am. I do the unimaginary. I do, I play with life. I play with the unreality. That's what literally my title of my channel says, playing with the unreality. And I love it. And that's what I'm going to stick with this the rest of my life until I end up stopping, but pretty much probably won't, but still. But anyway, here we're going, we're going close to the screenshots. I'm kind of adding some random work, quirky stuff to make it look a bit more overgrown and a little bit more compressed and a little bit more 
different. <laughs> so I added that little heater air conditioning thing. But anyway, here we are into the screen. Just already, as you can see, we are here in the front of the, of the build. I mean, I, I had two little side to side, side to side, uh, little <laughs> build. And I, I don't know what was that at all. It's like fucking too sad to sad. I've been there all night. I've been there all day. But anyway, I need to stop. I'm really literally, 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 literally oh, crazy. Oh, man. I've, I've been pre-recording too much and I've been talking way too much. So I just ended up being a little bit more crazy than usual. A little bit more crazy. Still, just a tad, just a tad, just a tad. But anyway, but anyway, we are actually in the screenshots. Like I already said in the beginning of the screenshots, we just kind of showing, I'm showing the little showing you guys the little areas but anyway i hope you guys really really enjoyed this speed but right here feel free to give this video a thumbs up for my craziness of me talking for almost 16 minutes straight anyway but um yeah if you love this build and you love my voice and and other things as well go ahead and give that video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i upload every single day if you guys don't know and um leave all your thoughts and suggestions because i leave all your thoughts and suggestions because i put into Put them into consideration so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to subscribe and like this video and share it to all your friends and family and i will see you guys all in the very next video bye <laughs>